chased it for years. Stop, 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 stop. Don't like to be up here. It's combo time. This is the show where we talk about anything and everything that has to do with young adults. I am your hostess with the mostest, Loretta. Guys, Woo! we're used to sorry. <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> we love you, Loretta. <laughs> you the best. Oh, you guys, stop it. <laughs> 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 We've got the beautiful Ayo. How you doing, baby girl? I'm good, thank you. How are you? How you doing, Kate? We've got the gorgeous Kate. <laughs> and the beautiful, ooh, red lipstick from Care. Don't let your boyfriend see us, so he thinks there's something happening. Where's my friend? Oh, I thought that was okay. Sorry, I thought you got a man. Okay, okay. Well, well, he, he coming. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, speaking of having a man, all you single ladies in enti in entice. Wow, mm -hmm. are we all single here? Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, we are single. <laughs> Well, see, yo, I'm not single. We're all single to marriage, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the way it is? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that's, that, that's how it goes now. Let's, uh, let's all do single lady. Well, I'm not single. I can't. Everybody can see me. Because I can't take it off. Yeah, we're married. Mm -hmm. Yes, we know she's taken. <laughs> all your single ladies, enlighten me, please. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's the way I said it. He's all single to marriage. Yeah, it's true now. It was the way she Where's the ring? <laughs> When you're filling a form, it says single, oh, wow. married, oh, wow. divorced. It does not say boyfriend, get friend. That's so, that's true. True. so yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. enlighten me, guys. Apparently, I got a not a physical slap in the face because I say this a lot. I got a bit of a an attack when I said to somebody that oh, I know a girl that's online dating. She met her guy on Facebook, and they were like, no. That's not online. Yada yada yada. Can you please explain to me what I said? Social media dating or like sliding into DMs, as I call it, is sliding into it DMs. It is. You are it literally is, so yeah. Shh. <laughs> sliding. You're sliding. And DM for those who don't know is direct messaging. Yeah. So is anybody that old? Okay. Well, for those who don't know, direct messaging. <laughs> so it's, it's hitting up on the messengers or like the Twitter or the Instagrams or. Any of those yeah. social media Okay, things. so can we explain what is online dating then? For people like me that do didn't have a clue, I thought as long as you're online, you're dating. That's it. That's online dating. Mm. Okay. It, it's like going on to like any sp specific dating website or app, basically, okay. is online dating. It, it's when it's specified. Even what's, um, what's the Jesus one? Christian Mingle. That's online dating. What's See, the Jesus one. <laughs> what's the Jesus Is it not? But what's the Jesus? Oh, Jesus online what's, dating. What's the Jesus one. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> but wow. it is what it is. But like, whenever it's specifically for dating, yeah. that's online dating. You're Everything is there sliding in DMs to purposely date someone. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So you seem to have a very deep understanding and knowledge of all these things, honey. Are, you, are we online dating? I mean, not on Christian Mingle. <laughs> Looking for me, don't go there. <laughs> you won't find me there. <laughs> you won't find me there. Um, yes, I have online data. I've used like some of the apps. I don't know. I feel like websites demand a lot, and I'm like, I don't have time for that. But the apps are fun. It's not the same thing. Are the websites not on apps? No, the websites are websites. I don't know. I feel like I need a lot. Is it not like Facebook that like Facebook is a website and it's an app? Or there, there are specific not, websites and apps. But all, all of the ones, sorry. Yeah, but Facebook isn't set to purposely date people. No, I'm even saying as in the the general like the mm. setup of the oh, okay. dating site. Yeah. Oh. So does that not if you're does that not mean you're phone dating because you're not online, you're not on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll fight you. <laughs> Have you ever been <laughs> trying to pick? I didn't go online. Your phone is online, fam. No, but I didn't go online to date him. But we met face to face. Who? My husband. She said, "How did I get married?" Oh, oh, I didn't even hear. That. I didn't hear that either. <laughs> that was a personal conversation right there that you butted in. Oh, sorry. I apologize. Continue. <laughs> I do apologize. <laughs> so tell me about your online dating. Um, I mean, like what I was saying earlier is the ones that I've used are just apps. They're not actually websites like Tinder. 
I say once, like I've used both. I won't use Tinder. I'm, I'm suspecting you. Just Tinder. <laughs> Listen, I live my best life. I can't lie. But um, Tinder is the only one that I've used. But I've heard of a plethora of others. Do you know the one I like the name of? What? Plenty more fish. Plenty of fish. Plenty of fish. fish. Oh, no more fish. <laughs> I've never heard of that one. Get around. Right, really? Get right. never that's that's the one I liked because I, I saw the ad for it and they were all skipping merrily. Uh, plenty for or of fish dot com or whatever. I mean, they'll, they'll always look happy in the adverts. <laughs> I'm saying you're saying online dating is specifically for an app. You've done it. You done it? No. Why? <laughs> 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 no, I don't want to. I don't know. I feel like, for me, I feel like online dating is more. I don't know if I'm how I sound saying this, but I feel like it's more to cater for an older, like an old, just a slightly older population. Wow. You guys are not. <laughs> you're not. So old, old, old. I'm not gonna. Hey. I was gonna offend it. Wow. No, no, I'm wow. not saying. Anyway, I'm not on it, so I'm not technically. <laughs> I don't know why you're talking. So you're so young. No, I just mean like, okay, obviously, it depends on why you're why you're, like the the motive behind the dating, like when. You're like you're looking for a partner, like you're at that stage where not necessarily. No, no, no. Looking no. for partners. It depends. No. What I haven't because I have. I'm not like I'm looking for a partner to or somebody to. But not everyone on the online date is looking for a partner, and I think they're looking for some kind of partner. Maybe not a life partner, but they a maybe partner. For a booty call. Call. Like it takes two to ten. Yeah, but I'm not looking for either. <laughs> yeah, either. So I'm not like. And if you're okay, when yeah. you start looking, are you gonna? Try online. Do you see yourself using any sort of like online, online dating thing? apps? Um, I doubt it. I doubt it for myself that I would. But I understand why people who do like do. Obviously, the older you get, the more time, you the less time you have to to be like. Because you we were talking earlier, and you can meet someone in college, or you can meet someone at an African society event after school or whatever. Mm-hmm. But when you're working and your routine is nine to five work, and then five o'clock home, and then you wake up at six o'clock next morning. What time do you really have yeah. to, to be meeting people? So yeah. I understand why like people would be like, okay, yeah. yeah you know. Just to cut into that, I actually had a recent conversation with a friend and we were just talking. He was just like, Victoria, like, what do you do after work? And I was like, yeah, I go home. Like, sometimes I'll, like, I'll have like dinners and get togethers and that's just about it. It's like, how are you meant to meet people? Question marks everywhere. But I'm I just saying. No, I'm just so apprehensive about online dating. Like, how safe is it? Like, from. That's a good question. From my experience, like, from. My friends, who are my male friends, they purposely use Tinder and all those things, just... Booty call. Yeah. I feel like Tinder is probably predominantly the one that people use that for, but there's a lot of different, like, online dating websites and apps that you could get that people go on it because they, they know that it's not just your standard Apparently booty people have fallen in love and gotten married. But I mean, that's, just, yeah. that's, one, that's one in a million. Getting married and falling in love. No, no, not like, getting married and falling in love, but meeting someone <laughs> online. Honey. No, no, <laughs> online. Meeting someone online that you get, you yeah. get fall in love. It's not one in a million. I can tell you that for sure. Because, like, the society is moving to, like, everything is becoming digitalized. And it's just one of those things. But I can tell you, if I said, like, 20 years ago, that's one in a million, I'd be like, yeah. But this day and age, no. I know plenty of people. And that's only the small circle yeah, that I yeah, know. I don't think like, I can imagine, like, the whole world or more people. I know a lot of people that are deeply in love and I know like two couples that have gotten married off of Tinder. Oh wow. wow. I don't know whether I'm gonna sound very negative or people are gonna attack me for this, but it's not that sad though that you have to go online to find a partner or Where is Rogue going? Like wh- where are you gonna find a partner? Do you know what I mean? Especially She's like, not going online. I'm an, I'm an oldie so I just to charge. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not necessarily. I don't know where he's gonna come from. Yes, no, you just you but online dating is just, just not, not for me. <laughs> Which is fair enough. It's just not for me. Yeah. Why? It's just I sound like I'm advocating like for you. Know, it's like why? I'm advertising myself now, eh? But is that not what you're doing anyway when you're looking for a person? I'm not advertising not, myself. Yeah, I'm like, good. Like, yeah, you're not like you're not like going out and be like I'm. Um, yeah, look at me, me, like date me. No. Okay, maybe you are not, but there's some people that are not on social media, but they are still advertising. There's some people that their parents are advertising for them. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. The <laughs> uncles and the aunties oh, are advertising them. They're advertising them, them. Yeah, yeah. Like, a girl, yeah. A girl told me that her mom, because her mom got so worried about her not getting married, mm-hmm. her mom signed her up for, I don't know what ad it is or whatever, but right. she put her online. Yeah, this reminds me of an said, Indian movie. looking for her husband. <laughs> I watched a movie about that. Actually. Yeah, and... Is an indie movie. This was an indie oh, movie. Her mom literally <laughs> opened a dating account online for her. 
I would have thought like all them kind of Indians, Africans, they're very specific on oh we need to know the person you're marrying and all of that. But Indians no. and Africans, they, they arrange marriages yeah, that they, they don't did. know the people and they're like no the marriages they arrange are the ones that they know the people. They don't know the people. No. They know their parents. Oh sometimes. sorry, yeah, the, they, they know the family. They know the family. Yeah. I think in this case the mother was like yo you need to get married you old. <laughs> So that means our parents are now moving on to the social media aspect of our girl. <laughs> no, <laughs> parents. No. There. <laughs> well, your your parents don't know. They probably they're thinking, okay, maybe that's the way I was going to meet the love of her life. So let's just help her out. No. <laughs> if you're online dating, I'm online, offline. I'm dating in all of the ways possible. Like <laughs> offline, online. Stick to what you know, parents. Stick to what you know. <laughs> you know. Okay. Question: Is it safe though? So you've done it. Mm-hmm. How safe did you feel? Because I, one of the things that, that I would have thought is you have absolutely no idea who's on the other end of that button that you're pressing and chatting to. You, you don't know if their picture that you see is actually their picture. Mm-hmm. You don't know. And obviously, like you rightly said, the younger you are, obviously you're able to meet people or whatever. But there are young people that are going on these sites and on these um, apps and trying to meet people on Tinder and plenty of fish.com and <laughs> stuff like that. How safe is it? Because you don't know who it is. Actually, when, when I... Well, a roommate, an old roommate that I lived with, like, that's why I said I won't go on Tinder because I'd seen what she Went used there. Tinder for. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, every week it was a I'm different sorry, I'm guy. Lost. What did she use Tinder for? Yeah, to meet guys and then, you know, they would just come back home. Oh, I forgot Ruka doesn't like to talk about the ins and outs of <laughs> people's well, relationships. <laughs> So basically, she brings these guys home yeah. and then she sleeps with them. Yeah. Call a spade a spade. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. But how does she know these aren't like serial killers? That's what I'm saying. She doesn't. Like, I was just saying to her, I was like, yo, girl, you need to be careful. She's like, okay. Oh, she's she's saying, it's she's not even that. Like, you're bringing people back business. to a place where we're all sharing. Like, we're all living here. So it, it, it's not safe for you, but it's also not safe so for us. You guys, yeah. Yeah. Even just when safe. people were meeting offline and people brought people back you don't know do you get what i mean you've had a conversation face to face with this person so you know this is the definitely the person i am talking to but it is not a i'm definitely talking to a 25 year old guy not i think i'm talking to a 25 year old guy potentially it could be a 60 year old woman then talk to him for two days and then say let's meet up i want to make sure it's you i want to see who i'm talking to because because whether you do it six months down the road after you meet them or you do it two days later, if it's the same person, it'll be the same person. But if you leave it for six months down the road, then like yeah, you've invested, feelings, feelings, feelings are invested. That's yeah. a mess. That is a complete mess. But if it's two days, you're like, okay, this person makes sense. It sounds like like we could get along. Yeah. Let's just meet up in person. I've actually heard cases get along. where like you know this guy was talking to this woman and he was asking her to like send her money and things like that. Was that? <laughs> I think what is the actual language? You know, <laughs> this was true online. Like, he was like, you know, her feelings were invested, and you know, she's like, oh, I got a boo, it's online, we're going to meet soon. And he'd be like, oh, I need this, and I need that, and then just okay. never happened. I, w- I want to hear more about that. We're going to take a break, and Ronga's going to tell us about her special friend <laughs> that decides to go sending money to people. <laughs> we'll be back in a bit. Make fake accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Combo Time. So before the break, we were talking about online dating. And my girl Ayo here has said she has tried and tested it. It works. It works. <laughs> and my beautiful Ronke here says she's never going to do it. Nope. And you were telling us a story just before we took a break about somebody sending money. Yeah, just I knew this girl who was talking to this guy. Like she met at an online dating app. And you know, you know, her feelings were, you know... You she know, was over, catching feelings. She, exactly, she was catching feelings, and <laughs> this guy was like, you know, I'm in this, I'm in such a bad situation, like, and you know, she felt sad for him, and you know, she was sending him money, you know, for his upkeep, and how long was this happening for? If you don't mind me asking, this was well into like a year. Yeah, she was sending him money for a year. Well, six. She they were talking for six months, and then he said a. Si- you had situation a situation arises, yeah. and you know I, I would never ask you of this and blah 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 blah. Did he live in a different country? Yeah. Did he live on a different continent? Yes. Of course. And she was planning like <laughs> at the end of the year to like go and meet him and. So they hadn't met. They had never met. What? What? Sorry. What website was it? <laughs> because most, I don't know, but she said she met him online. Because most of the apps. 
do like distance um they do match people on yeah. distances because like even in like offline dating the pe- the people you're most likely to date are the people that live or are within a certain maybe she wasn't online dating maybe for facebook it could social be, yeah. media dating social media yeah. cuz that's i feel like that's why i, I wanted the well, definition of the first why place you social media date that's why you should go on dating yeah but apps. i mean this facebook looked legit you know everything checked out not everything is checked on. Let me, that, that, that can answer that for you right now. I also, Facebook is not the pe- Facebook is legit. Well, the people on was, Facebook yeah. are not necessarily yeah. legit. This you is, can set up an account as a fifteen-year-old and claim you're thirty just true. to get on. This is like, also <laughs> why I feel like you should, f- even from online dating, you should meet as soon as possible if you feel like you have a connection with the person because you can just get to see the person in real life so you're not being catfish first of all secondly to see if you're actually attracted to the person like mm-hmm. I think you'd be talking to a person for a year and also you're not and emotionally not, invested like, yeah, you know, that's for a, such a long period he, he played on her emotions yeah he did that, that was it I people will always about. play on your emotions but if you're not wise enough to like discern everything about them like as in like actually meet to see if you're physically attracted like I don't know all the other things before you really invest your emotions then it's your fault you're, you're taking the piss with yourself is it that's my opinion I, I could be wrong but could it could it be a case where she was just desperate to fall in love that's a her problem <laughs> like, <laughs> she's not fine guys you need to be self-aware no matter what you do yeah. whether you're offline dating or online dating that's your problem if you're not self-aware enough to decipher like the fact that you're just being desperate and falling mm. into into an incredible ridiculous situation then that's on you i can't even feel bad for her like mm-hmm. i'm so sorry to your friend it sounds harsh but I offline date, I online date, but can I, at the same time, can I ask you like, a question? Yeah. Okay, so you said you've online date. So the, when you've spoken to the people, are they are they people that you knew before? No. no. Are they people that you knew had mutual friends? No. So they're well, totally like strangers. Complete, one of <laughs> one of the people I met actually, in, I met two people in person from mm-hmm. online dating. Mm-hmm. One of them had a mutual friends with one of my friends, so I was like, oh, does this person check out? Did you know that before you met the person? Um, I can't remember. I think so. I think okay. possibly. And then the other person, not a clue. You don't know anything. Like it was just a random yeah. person. Yeah. Okay. And then how did the f- the person that you didn't know play out? Did you end up keep talking to them? Yeah. Or? Very very, very nice right. person. Yeah. Okay. Because the thing is, I feel like because we live in a, a safe country, safe enough country, mm-hmm. that it's like okay, I understand why it's like okay, yeah, it's kind of easy to unlike you can just meet up like, two days on the line. But for the likes of like America or like. Nigeria or where like there's it could take an entire day to get from one location to yeah, sure. I know that like in Ireland the most you can travel is what five hours and you're That's on the, the <laughs> line, yeah, you're right. on the other end of the country but like in places like we're like America and they're online dating and obviously all they have is the online and okay well we're talking and someone's in California someone's in, in New York in New York but like they're still talking and it's still online but it's like that's why we're saying that okay that could be unsafe because really and truly you don't know who you don't necessarily know who you're talking to and it's not as easy to just meet Me after talk. two days I, and then people are going to show you like their best side online more time than they're going to show you they're going to say i have the, <laughs> I, like, I have no. <laughs> issues i have anger problems they're yeah. not going to say all that to you they're going to be like oh yeah i i hear what you're saying but i don't think that's valid because we're talking about like mass over land and like that's just me dating somebody in amsterdam or somebody in paris or somebody in mm-hmm. eastern europe so would you do that would I do that? Mm-hmm. Probably not. Okay. Realistically, because because of the distance. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, and in America, like it's grand because they're still even within the same country. Like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then the distance spans like is okay. different for so you Europe. So you say you'd online country. So you say you'd online date mm-hmm. if it's close enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Person's a Dublin. Yeah, that's why enough. I use Twitter because not Twitter. <laughs> oh, I love Twitter. <laughs> and that's why I use Tinder because like it gives you the like the span okay, of distance. Okay. If you're open to like a whole lot of different things, you have to be able to assess your situation and know what is the safest thing for you emotionally, physically, mentally. You have to be able to assess at every yeah, point. Yeah, but not everyone can do that. No, exactly. But then if they can't do that, then see you're you're when you're online. <laughs> when you're <laughs> online, this sorry. is the thing, right? I feel like. When you go online today, mm-hmm. it's not like you're going thinking, I'm looking for a husband, right? You're just going, uh-huh. you're going online. I can guarantee you, I, I know you. Uh-huh. You download these apps. I'm bored. Let me download Tinder. See how I can meet today. That's your motive. <laughs> it's not like you're going looking, I'm looking for a boyfriend or I'm looking for a husband. You download it because you know I can do this. I've done it before. It worked. I, I'm just going to find somebody nice for the meantime. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, bye-bye. Mm-hmm. That's you. So your your mindset is not that whoever I find now, if they happen to be the best for me, that's it. That's the love yeah. of my life. There are people that go, like you said yourself, people get married in the end. 
some people so they could have potentially gone into this going i have searched high and low physically speaking looking for people somebody to try and have a relationship with mm -hmm. it didn't work let me go online and going online potentially means trying to go outside that country too okay because they've looked in their own country it didn't work mm -hmm. let me go outside and find somebody mm -hmm. and if they click with somebody online in that aspect obviously it's not going to be easy to meet up because you're in a different country mm -hmm. i get what you're saying analyze your situation and all of that but you've gotten to the stage where you're desperate enough to actually move to another country as in app wise mm -hmm. to go find not physically move mm -hmm. to go find the love of your life mm -hmm. how are you gonna say that's is it's on them but you you might not necessarily know what you're gonna find you, you never know what you're gonna find online or offline but i still like stand by you have to be i feel like you have to be smart about anything mm -hmm. yeah definitely you do have to do, be do you know what i mean mm -hmm. if it's a first timer for example like you do this a lot Okay, a first timer like me. No, if I was to if go she's online. gonna go online, yeah, if I yeah. was to go online, she's not gonna watch me download that. But my phone don't like <laughs> watch me. I feel like okay, talk to person <laughs> on a level that you would if you were like face to face. Like, cause if somebody comes at me with this whole, oh my god, you're gorgeous. I'm like X. No. <laughs> okay, what advice would you give me as a like if I was a if you're to going on for first yeah. time like. Somebody that talks to you on a level that you're like, oh, if this was happening face to face, mm -hmm. yeah, this would make sense. If it wouldn't, what? Don't talk to them. Secondly, if you can't try and meet as soon as, po as possible, if you like, if you connect, yeah. if there's no connection, exit, move on, like it's fine. And if there is a connection, try and meet up as soon as possible. If you live far away, which I think you shouldn't, I I think it's silly for me personally. I I don't think you should be online dating with somebody that lives so far away. What you're setting yourself up for heartbreak. But that's my opinion. Anyway, if they live far and you still want to go there. Try and set up a FaceTime or like Skype call as soon as possible so you actually see the person. What they look like. Yeah. Like, I don't watch Catfish. If you really are desperate <laughs> to find love online, watch Catfish and take down notes. What not to do. Yeah, take down notes. Like, it's silly. I, yeah. I think there's easy ways to assess the situation and to know if you're being played, at least, at the very least, for like the way people look. Because if you're having conversation and you're connecting and do you know that's fine so you've clicked on like an emotional level if you click physically then that's fine yeah. meet up or whatever and if they're asking you for money x because they're, cle <laughs> <laughs> they're clearly a nigerian <laughs> prince <laughs> <laughs> okay and a final note then final main question so does that mean that online dating is the new way to find love not necessarily. No, yeah. I think it's because we're it's saying that of, people don't have. Of, it's one of the ways, but I don't yeah. think it's the only way. Okay, can we think of other options for people then? Because I'm like, see, the, maybe for me, because of the fact yeah. that I met the love of my life at an early stage when I was like your age, socializing in college and all of that. So I didn't have that. There was no need for are you, me to are you look any other way. Socializing <laughs> no, but you, you, you all said it yourselves. Oh, you're like, oh, you're yeah, doing nine to five. You don't have the time to meet people. I, I got, I had the time to meet people. Honey, do it at an early age. <laughs> Don't go online. <laughs> Honey, live your best life. <laughs> Honey, do you, okay? Do you. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, this is what everybody's saying, though, that there is no time... For those that are single, there is no time to actually socialize and meet someone new. And nobody wants to be dating someone at work or someone in that is already... Unless you've had a relationship with someone that you're starting to get a relationship with someone they already know. That's mm -hmm. different. Meaning that you can build on what you already have. But there's some people that they don't want to do that. Or they know too much of all the people that are around them that that's not what they want. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, because there's no time for them to meet new people... That's the way I would say go. if it's really really like that and you don't want to go online step outside of your echo chamber like step outside of like this community of yeah. people that you know and go somewhere else because no matter where you are there are people that do completely different, different things, things yeah. live in completely different circles and you wouldn't know them if you weren't in their circle so mm -hmm. step outside of your own circle if you found that like you've like assessed all of the people within your circle or their extensions mm -hmm. and you don't find that that's for you step outside like and also I would you say don't have anything to hobby yeah i think you were saying that there was this app that they have events meet on. up yeah meet up and yeah. and it's like different people meeting up for different things from cooking to photography to psychology for business yeah. like different completely different things so that's yeah. like dating without actually dating, dating. it's not date well not i'm not saying dating yeah. but you could potentially find someone through Certainly, that so you're thinking groups. about it I can socially meet someone in yeah. this way as opposed to going online and purposefully yeah. trying to meet someone. i mean i mean we have another great network our parents 
<laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I guess they're okay or whatever. You try you to get your mom to find your husband. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm just, no, I'm just, no, just it's saying. actually fair because sometimes when because my friends, you know they're yeah, networking yeah. themselves. When my mom is <laughs> talking about her friends or college, I'm like, but does he got a son though? <laughs> <laughs> he's cute. He's not cool. Don't mention. <laughs> don't mention. My mom be like, hey, that 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 guy is a nice guy. I'm like, okay, yeah, if it, if it, yeah. Ends up being I natural. Mean, it ends up being natural. I just, but I, I, don't force so, anything. I just sound so deep, but yeah. at the end of the day, everything has to happen naturally. <laughs> exactly. You can't really like yes. when you said exactly when you're like, oh, I have to, because it's the pressure people put on themselves or girls mm. or sorry, women, <laughs> women or men be like, oh, I need to have a partner now. Mm. When you put that pressure, that means then that you kind of get blindsided by like rubbish or red flags that you yeah. see and you're, you're like, just oh, so desperate. Exactly, because you're just yeah. like focusing, okay, I need this, this needs to be this. But really and truly, if just focus on yourself as yeah. a human, you know, focus on what, you, focus on having it all. Remember we spoke about in the last yeah. episode, <laughs> but, uh, focus on having it all, focus yeah. on what you're doing, focus on yourself. And yeah. if it happens, if someone comes along, they come along and focus on God really and truly because... Yeah, and also like, focus on living, just living. Because and when you're you exactly, living your best life. Amen. Someone wants to say you spend, more, you spend a lot life. more time being married than you are single. So why are you rushing to? Why do you rush to get married when you're gonna be with them forever? forever, forever. Yeah. yeah. All right then. I want to know what you guys think about online dating. We've said all of ours. I'm married. I don't really have much of an opinion. But the ch- the chances are, let's be real. If I didn't get married, if I didn't meet the love of my life at the stage that I did, would have I gone on? Would I have gone online dating? I don't know. Let me hear more from you. They all are social medias and um, platforms are rolling at the bottom of the screen. We'll see you soon on Combo Time.